Hey guys, Josh Fierstein here. Hi Josh, nice to meet you. Hello everyone, your friendly neighborhood atheist here. The music you just heard is from a thrash-influenced doom metal band called Titans, who recently released their first EP titled Celestial Aggression, which you can download for free from their Bandcamp page, linked below. They're a couple of great guys, so I highly recommend you check them out. Today I'm responding to a video that's been very popular on the Facebook lately. It's from Josh Feirstein, and it's called Dear Mr. Atheist, Allow Me to Destroy Evolution in Three Minutes. So, let's take a look. You know, the other day I had an atheist tell me that I was an idiot, moronic, and stupid for believing in God. That's too bad. It doesn't sound like he was very polite. Because it took way too much faith to believe in a process like that, while he believed in what he called the science of evolution. Well, that was a dumb way to put it. Evolution is the natural process by which inherited characteristics of biological populations change over time. The theory of evolution is the explanatory model that describes this process. The science of evolution doesn't mean anything, except perhaps the study of these processes in modern biology. Dear Mr. Atheist, first of all, let me correct you. Because evolution is not a science, never has, and never will be. Why? Because, as I just said, there is no such thing as the science of evolution. The theory of evolution is certainly a part of modern science, but yeah, that's as much as anyone can say. Because it cannot fit within the parameters and parentheses of science. I don't know what that was supposed to mean. It was never observed. In my last video, I talked about speciation events, where one species turns into another. Here, well, yeah, that works again. Speciation event examples are linked below. That's why it's not science, that's why it's called the theory of evolution. In science, a theory is the highest level of an explanatory hypothesis. A theory has made predictions, verified them, demonstrated that it can in fact be falsified, and yet failed to be falsified, stood the test of time and peer review, and finally has been accepted as the best explanation for a phenomena, just like germ theory or the theory of gravity. What he said? Now, let me show you how much faith it really takes to believe in evolution. A definition of faith would be appropriate here, but you don't seem to give one. The one you seem to operate with is something along the lines of belief without a justifiable degree of evidence, in which case I would have to say that belief in evolution does not require faith, since just by following links from Wikipedia, you can come away with loads of evidence supporting evolution. You want me to believe that in some accidental cosmic bank, that out of that was created one cell, and from that one cell that all life springs. Well, I don't. That would be stupid. And that somewhere along the way, over years and years, we mysteriously and magically all develop different wills, and we all develop different characteristics and traits, all because we will do- I hate to reuse a joke, but... Yeah. I mean, you really think that everything came from one single cell? No, modern life probably did not originate from one cell. Early single-celled organisms probably came from a number of concurrently existing protocells and protoorganisms, and through processes like horizontal gene transfer and the like. Take now, I realize that you say that evolution is in science. Sure, that works. Though it's an odd way to phrase it, I, I guess you could say that evolution is in science. The one thing that science demands, if you maybe you've heard of the, something called the law of thermodynamics. Laws. There are more than one. Four, in fact. Which means that chaos can never produce order. Okay, so I guess you're talking about the second law in really vague terms. So, to way oversimplify what the second law says, in an isolated system, entropy will never decrease. Or put another way, Closed systems tend towards disorder over time. But note that it's about closed systems. In a system where work is being input, like with the energy from our sun, entropy can decrease. To oversimplify the oversimplification, order can come from disorder, it just takes work. Look at the world that we live. Everything works like a clock. It has order. And yet, 
You cannot argue that a world that has order came out of an accident because it defies the very logic and laws of science. Science doesn't have laws in that sense. Laws in science, like the laws of thermodynamics, are descriptive, not proscriptive. Uh, but anyway, my previous point holds here, too. Have you just never heard of work? You think it takes a lot of, of faith for me to believe in a god that created this world, a god that created order? I don't know. You haven't defined faith or presented evidence, so... maybe? What if I were to tell you that somewhere in Oklahoma, a tornado rolls through a junkyard full of a bunch of old cars and and somewhere on the other side of that tornado out of that junk pile it magically produces a perfectly red shiny working lamborghini you would tell me i was nuts you would tell me that i had lost it you would probably try to admit me into the psychiatric war no i wouldn't i would ask you if you had any evidence if you didn't then i might think you were a little nuts that is absolutely stupid. I mean, how much faith would it really take to believe something as idiotic as that? Without evidence? Loads. If there were good evidence? I don't know. Maybe none at all. And yet that's exactly what science believes. No, science is a process. It doesn't believe anything. Scientists believe various things, but I don't know of any that believe in miraculous tornadoes. Science believes that in this accident, came this perfectly working Earth. This is the second time you've said accident, and I still have no idea what you're referring to. The Big Bang? Early star formation? Stellar evolution? Abiogenesis? With human life, and with people, and animals, and plants, and, and seasons, and days, and hours, and rotates, I mean, the atmosphere, everything in Earth was created perfectly. Everything? Really? Even cancer, bubonic plague, mass extinction events, natural disasters, supervolcanoes, ice ages, birth defects. And I'm telling you, that could never happen through an accident. It had to be by intelligent design. How do you know that? From what you just said, I infer that you believe that everything was intelligently designed. In which case, how do you determine that? After all, if everything is designed, you don't have anything non-designed to contrast anything with. So dear Mr. Atheist, who really has to have a lot of faith today to believe in their theory? I don't know, you still haven't defined faith. I believe in God because I've experienced him, I've felt him, but most of all, while driving through Yellowstone and, and Montana and so many of these natural reserves this week and looking at animals and looking at life, I don't know, I just can't look at all of that creation and say that it, it was an accident. Well, that's good. I don't think anyone says it was an accident. I have to say that creation has a creation. Right. But again, how have you determined that everything is a creation? And one final thought. Well, the word universe, you believe in a Big Bang, but when I look at the word universe, it means una, which is one, or singular, that's Latin, una, verse. Verse means a spoken statement. So universe is one single spoken statement. No, sorry, that's not the etymology of universe. Uni is one, while verse comes from the Latin verses, past participle of verter, meaning to turn. In Latin, universus, literally turned into one, meant altogether or entire. The modern word comes from the old French univer, which was derived from the original Latin. I dare you to read Genesis 1. I have. And in the beginning God said, let there be. Light. Right? The next word is light. Well, that's it, I guess. There's a little more to Josh's video, but it's mostly just him asking Christians to like and share his video and whatnot, plus a little more about evolution requires faith stuff. Which is strange. I mean... Here I was thinking that Christians thought faith was a virtue. This has been your friendly neighborhood atheist, and until next time, best wishes.